I am crucified with Christ, yet I live. No longer I, but Christ lives in me. I live by faith in the Son of God, who has loved me and given himself up for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <clears throat> Today we celebrate the feast of St. Ignatius of Antioch, one of our very early martyrs in the church alongside the disciples. We pray in our St. Ignatius to strengthen us, to help us, to be firm in our faith as he was. He pleaded with the people not to stop the Romans taking him to Rome to be fed by the animals. He wanted to be martyred. So let us pray that each and every one of us will do our utmost to follow the message of Jesus. And so we call to mind our sins as we say together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who adorn the sacred body of your church with the confessions of holy martyrs, grant, we pray, that just as the, the glorious passion of St. Ignatius of Antioch, which we celebrate today, brought him eternal splendor, so it may be for us an ending protection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. My brothers, be united in following my rule of life. Take as your models every day who is already doing this and study them as you used to study us. I have often told you, and I repeat it today with tears, there are many who are behaving as the enemies of the cross of Christ. They are destined to be lost. They make foods into their gods, and they are proudest of something they ought to think shameful. The things they think important are earthly things. For us, our homeland is in heaven, and from heaven comes the Savior we are waiting for, the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will transfigure the, these wretched bodies of ours into copies of his glorious body. He will do that by the, the, by the same power which which he can subdue the whole universe. So then, my brothers and dear friends, do not give way, but remain faithful to the Lord. I miss you very much, dear friends. You are my joy and my crown. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From all my terrors, the Lord sets me free. From all my terrors, the Lord sets me free. 
I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. From all my terrors the Lord set me free. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. From all my terrors the Lord set me free. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. From all my terrors the Lord set me free. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. From all my terrors the Lord sets me free. Let us stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia. stands firm when trials come, for he has proved himself and will win the crown of life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, <clears throat> I tell you most solemnly, unless a wheat grain falls on the ground and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. Anyone who loves his life loses it. Anyone who hates his life in this world will keep it for the eternal life. If a man serves me, he must follow me. Wherever I am, my servant will be there too. If anyone serves me, my father will honor him. The Gospel of the Lord. Ignatius became Bishop of Antioch in the first century, but little is known about his life except that it ended in martyrdom in Rome at about the year 107. And on his journey to Rome as a prisoner, he met Polycarp in Smyrna and many other Christians from the neighboring communities. He wrote a number of epistles 
to the Christian communities at, among others, Ephesus, Philadelphia, and Smyrna, which shows his passionate commitment to Christ and his longing for martyrdom, his faith and true understanding of the doctrine. He pleaded with the people not to stop him and try to, um, try to protect him. He really and truly wanted to face martyrdom and then at those days <clears throat> they would be taken to the stadium in Rome and the wild animals would kill them. That's how strong his faith was. He was the third bishop of Antioch. A man who was full of love for Christ, full of prayer. For him, prayer would help him through whatever suffering he would have to go through. And being mauled by animals, he would have gone through an awful lot of suffering before he actually died. But he did it all because he wanted to be with Christ in his kingdom and to show the people the importance of how important the, his faith was and how important it is for them that they follow his example in working for Christ, doing all they could and helping and supporting each other. And in those days, of course, the followers of Jesus were persecuted. Many, many lost their lives. <clears throat> Today, we're reminded a little of this terrible thing that's going on in Palestine and Israel. Many people, sadly, are being murdered. Men, women, and sadly, children. When I heard that young children were having their heads cut off by the Palestines, I just couldn't believe it. How could anyone go that low? But they do and did. And so we pray. We pray that this will all stop and that they will try to work it out through talk work it out through prayer and that peace will come to that land once again we can ask Saint Ignatius to help them in, all, in every way he can so that this violence will stop. Do we stand pleased for the prayers? As we rejoice to share with Saint Ignatius <clears throat> the faith that he professed at so high a cost, let us turn our thoughts and prayers to the needs of all people, believers and not, that the Church cooperate, witness to Christ, and all he stood for may be united in courageously presenting to the world the good news of freedom from sin and death. Lord, in your mercy, <clears throat> that world leaders might be inspired to set their hearts not on power, but on every opportunity for service of the weak and oppressed. 
Lord, in your mercy. For the churches that persecution forces into that persecution forces into silence, that their faith may realize that mustard seeds too grow in silence. Lord, in your mercy. We remember those who are tortured and dehumanized by instruments of violent power, the victims and the oppressors, that the sword may swiftly be returned to the scabbard and the wounds of hatred closed. Lord, in your mercy. Our thirds turn moreover to those who feel there is nothing worth living or fighting for, that on them Christ may shed a ray of his light to dispel that gloom and warm that indifference into love. Lord, in your mercy. We implore God's protective and enlightening blessing on all organizations and persons who strive for the more effective preservation of human rights and the personal and family dignity. <clears throat> Lord, in your mercy. We pray, too, for the repose of the soul of Barbara Raphael, one of our foundation masses. Lord, in your mercy. We remember, too, our sick. We pray especially for Maria, Tony, and John Crangle, both who are seriously ill. Lord, in your mercy. We ask Mary to pray for us and with us as we say together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray. <coughs> Lord God, may the lives of your holy ones inspire us to greater endeavor in the service of your people. May our lives be abundant in good works through Christ our Lord. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit to the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Let it be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless ye, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquity, cleanse us all of our sins. My friends, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May 
May this oblation and our homage be pleasing to you, O Lord, just as you accepted St. Ignatius the wheat of Christ, made pure bread through his martyrdom and passion, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. The very suffering are but wonders of your might. To your mercy you give order to their faith. To their endurance you grant their firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory of yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. <coughs> holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and one small giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death O Lord until you come again. Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters and all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Ignatius, Saint Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The same is command formed by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that ye should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. An act of spirit of communion with those who have joined us online. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things and we desire to receive you into our souls. And since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as you've already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. I am the wheat of Christ to be ground by the teeth of beasts, that I may be found to be pure bread.
Let us pray. May the heavenly bread we have received, O Lord, on the feast day of St. Ignatius, renew us, we pray, to make us Christians in name and in deed, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, proclaim in the gospel of the Lord. Thank you all very much and have a nice day.